Good day everyone! I'm your Mr. ATL and welcome back to my channel. So ngayon naman, ang gagawin natin ay yung operations and functions pero nakapokus muna tayo sa addition and subtraction of functions. So mag-start na tayo. So operations and functions, mag-start muna tayo sa addition and subtraction of functions. no? So sa addition and subtraction of functions, Uh, let f and g be any two functions kasi madalas kong gagamitin yung function na f of x saka g of x. So, ito yung notation na ginagamit sa pagkuha ng sum and difference ng given functions. So, sa sum, f plus g of x equals f of x plus g of x. Sa difference naman, f minus g of x equals f of x minus g of x. So, magbibigay ko ng example. Pupunta ko sa y para mas malaki yung aking working area. So, okay. So, nandito na ako sa whiteboard at meron tayong mga examples dito. Umpisahan na natin. Example, given the three functions below, f of x equals 7x minus 4, g of x equals 2x plus 3, and h of x equals 4x squared minus 9. We will find number 1 is f plus g of x. So, kanina meron tayong notation na f plus g of x equals to f of x plus g of x. So, kukuha nila lang natin yung value ng f of x sa given na 7x minus 4. So, iusod natin dito kasi medyo mahaba ito. So, f of x is 7x minus 4 and then plus... We have the g of x naman. Ito naman siya. 2x plus 3. And then, so since addition ng symbol, we can combine these two terms. Unahin natin yung mga similar terms. Yung 7x and 2x. 7 plus 2 is 9x. And then negative 4 plus positive 3 is, is negative 1. So therefore, this is our f plus g of x. Next, what if we have f minus g of x? So, papalitan lang natin ito ng subtraction. So, magiging f minus g of x equals to f of x minus g of x. Okay? So, i-substitute na natin yung f of x na 7x minus 4 minus lagay natin ng parenthesis para hindi tayo malito so minus the g of x is 2x plus 3 okay so since na ang operation is subtraction i-distribute natin by multiplying the negative to the two terms dito sa kabila so just bring down 7x minus 4 negative times positive is negative 2x Negative times positive is negative 3. So, pwede na natin combine ang similar terms na 7x minus 2x, that is 5x. And then, negative 4 and negative 3, we have negative 7. So, this is your f minus g of x. Paano naman kung ang given is g minus f of x? Magiging magkapares kaya ang value niya? So, tingnan natin. So again, this is equivalent to g of x minus f of x. Dineretso ko na siya, no? So, para makuha ang g of x, tingnan natin sa given. That is 2x plus 3 minus our f of x, nasa given ulit, 7x minus 4. Okay. And then, Pwede natin itong i-distribute. So, we will have 2x plus 3 minus 7x and then plus 4 since negative times negative is positive. And then, combine the similar terms. You have 2x minus 7x, negative 5x. And then, 3, then plus 4, that is positive 7. So, this is your g minus f of x. So, kung titignan nyo, magkaiba ang value nila. 
So, ang order ng ating functions ay napaka-importante. Lalo na kapag ka ito ay subtract. Okay, example number 4. So, kung titignan nyo, ang given natin is same lang ng functions. Pero, hahanapin natin is the h plus g minus f of x. So, tatlo na siya, no? Pero, ganito lang rin ang mangyayari dyan. Since it's a combination of the sum and difference, tapos by the three functions, pwede natin hiwahawalayin yan into separate natin into h of x plus g of x minus f of x. And then hanapin na natin si h, si g, and si f. Then substitute na natin. So this is equal to, ang h natin is 4x squared minus 9. Ang g natin is, so plus, we have the g of x, 2x plus 3, minus, we have f of x, that is 7x minus 4. So, after that, we can combine similar terms, pero ayusin muna natin ang mga parentheses nila. So, since this is positive naman, same sign lang ang mangyayari dito. So, just bring down 4x squared, minus 9, plus 2x, plus 3. So, dito, magbabago na siya, since subtraction na ito. Negative times positive is negative 7x. Negative times negative is positive 4. And then, combine all the similar terms. Or, nag-iisa lang yung x squared natin. So, just bring down x squared. But, we have 2x and negative 7x. So, 2 and negative 7x, that will be negative 5x. And then, negative 9 plus 3 negative 6 negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2 so this is now our final answer 4x squared minus 5x minus 2 ok example number 5 we have uh, g plus h of 3 so kung mapapansin nyo hindi na siya x pero naging naging number na siya which is 3 so Hiwalayin lang natin siya. Since this is sum, that is g of 3 plus h of 3. So, this is connected to the evaluation of functions. So, since this is g of 3, doon sa g of x, papalitin natin yung x ng 3. So, magiging 2. 2x will become 2 times 3. Then, bring down 3. Plus, let's go to h function naman, the h of x magiging 3 yung x, so ito magiging 3, so plus uh, 4 times 3 square minus 9 so kung titignan nyo, ito yung ating g, at ito yung ating h so ayusin muna natin yung mga parentheses o yung mga operations so 2 times 3 is 6 6 plus 3 is 9 so dito naman, ayusin muna natin yung exponent bago natin i-multiply sa 4. So, 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 4 is 36. Minus 9. So, dito, pwede na itong makancel because 9 minus 9 is 0. So, matitira is 36. Or you can also add this to magiging 45. 45 minus 9 is still 36 ang answer. So, therefore, H, uh, G plus H of 3 is positive 36. Okay, example number 6, we will find the h minus f of negative 5. So, again, para hindi tayo mahirapan, ihiwalay muna natin ito ng difference of the two functions. We have h of negative 5 minus f of negative 5. So, we will go to the h function where x will become negative 5. So, that will become um, 4 multiply by negative 5 then square minus 9 so this is your h of negative 5 minus let's go to the f function where x will become negative 5 so that is 7 times negative 5 minus 4 again this is your f of negative 5 so simplifying this this will become Negative 5 times negative 5 is 25, times 4 is 100, minus 9 is 91. Okay? 
minus 7 times negative 5 is a negative 35. Negative 35 minus 4, that is negative 39. I put parenthesis kasi may magkasunod na negative dito. And then, if you will solve this, negative times negative will become positive. So, negative, uh, so 91 plus 39, 130. Okay, so that's all for the addition and subtraction of functions. So, I hope you learned something. So, by the way, I'm your Mr. ATL and I would like to give my special thanks to Mr. LD and Dalikan. So, I hope you learned something. Goodbye!